Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to the fourth and final part of playing about with our little um, file folder folio that we made with untold amount of pockets and that's what we're going to do today, we're going to fill the pockets so as you can see I've got pockets everywhere so I'm not going to get all of that done today but I'll get as much as I can and then I'll gather up a bits and bobs um, that I don't make on camera. We'll fill the pockets up and then you'll see what it looks like at the end. So, all of this ephemera clearly would not fit in a little tiny book like this. There's 40, 40 odd pages in here. I can't remember exactly. I think it might be 48 in this one. Um, might be a couple less. But it's a notebook, you know, that's all it is. It's got a cute envelope as the centre signature to keep things in. But, um, yeah, it's a little notebook. The ephemera that we're making is, like, don't have to fit in this. So it ain't all got to be small because I've got gaps behind places like this. And these pockets where something quite big will want to go into. So we're just going to make all the bits and bobs and it's really a notebook and ephemera that like you either would keep for yourself or send out send out to a friend. If you're keeping it for yourself you don't have to have the notebook and you could just store your ephemera in all different ones of these, you know, you could label the spine. So you could have your Bohemian one, your Victorian one, your this one, your that one, you know, different eras, different styles, nature. I really like that idea and for someone like me who's limited on space I think that would be a really good way to store future ephemera that I make in something like this um, so yeah that is probably what I would use it for and also they're lovely to send us happy mail because then you've sent a friend a little notebook and loads of stuff that she can put in her own journal so that's my plan so I've gathered loads of bits and bobs and I also thought it'd be nice to make a collage because then it's a really easy way of getting going and um, then just cutting it all up into the different sizes for different tags. I've also cut quite a few bits out um, already to save time so I've got all different, I love these shapes for in a journal, they're really cute. And I've got little bits and bobs to go in the little like split pockets in the um, Tim Holtz pockets. But then these bigger bits I think would make a really lovely collage. Although I think that would make a really gorgeous big tag as well. I'm torn with that one. So mm, do I cut it down or not? Because I'm not sure how much more of this I've actually got. Um... Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a bit because I really do think it is pretty for a tag and the texture is also really lovely and I do like having different textures and things. I know it's not for me and it's going to go somewhere else but I just like to make bits and bobs with all different textures. So I'm tearing this lovely bit. I do know I have got another bit somewhere but I can't quite remember where. But we're just gonna get started and start making a bit of a collage and see how we get on and I'll make maybe a couple of other bits if we've got time so I hope everybody is well and safe and everything um, we're all fine here and doing well um, yeah, struggling a bit with the separation of my loved ones and that, but I am lucky enough to have other loved ones here in the home with me and not doing this on my own, which I think would be really, really hard. So, yeah, we're all good in yield at the minute. Right, let's see. This is gorgeous. I think I'm going to lay something down so that then I've just got a base to start putting my torn bits onto. So I like these as well. I think I'll rip a few bits of this and yeah, then we can make a start. So 
Let's grab. I don't want to use all the same colours. I like to mix it up a bit when I'm doing a boho kind of collage and yeah I know I don't do it the same as everybody else um, but I'll just do it <laughs> this is my way of doing it and I love it I like the, that kind of style I really like all the colours and everything so yeah I just I do love different types of boho and that and yeah there's always loads and loads of inspiration here on youtube and yeah i've got a few new ones in my head but i've got to work on something else next so they'll have to wait a little while but i have got another um completed journal to show so i'm pleased about that i'll probably put that up in the next couple of days um I'm just going to lose this edge and go in from the back so that I lose quite a bit of that white like that and then I don't want to get bundled up with tons of bits on the desk and that because then that drives me mad. <laughs> But I do like using all different colours, so let's, I want to get something above there first before I stick anything else down, so. I'm just going to get that on. Actually, I can use that blue. Again, it don't have to be the same colour as what I've what the paper is I do like to mix that up as well sometimes as well so I wanted to get that down here didn't I yeah and so yeah I, everyone's doing good we've um oh I've got loads of birthday cards to make really loads um May and June are my busiest months in my family and friends and that as well that it's their birthdays so yeah i've got quite a few coming up so i've got so many to make because i do like making cards anyway when i can but um yeah i do cheat and buy some as well because of unless i have really loads of time which i have got now and <laughs> i because if we've got nothing else we've got time on our hands so, even though I've been really busy, seems to have been busier than ever, but I have trying to, been trying to get more content out because I know some people are stuck at home, maybe on their own and that, you know, and that worries me. So, I do like to kind of get as much out there as I can. Sorry, I'm just lifting up my sprouts and they're so full up. I'll take the lid off. And a ton of things has already flew out. Um, I'll get some bits and bobs from stuff I was using the other day. And yeah, we'll just start getting this all together. I want to include some fabric as well. Because I think that will look really cool. On top of all of the bits, if I find some blingy bits in my boxes right, let's get rid of that corner and so yeah i have had quite a bit to do but i've been trying to keep up with like watching friends and that on youtube but um yeah sometimes i just i don't know where the day goes where there's quite a lot going on but i suppose i'm lucky better that than being bored hey eh? that's the way i look at it Right, so I'm gonna have that in that corner up there. Bit of the handy if we have something underneath. I love that. Right. And yeah, the, all the bits. It don't matter with and some straight edges because you can layer up and cover them up. You see, like that. 
like that, I think, will be cool. And yeah, I want to try and get a few things on there that's not so bulky. So we'll just keep going. Right. Um, and so yeah, I've got a few things that I really have got to work on. But yeah, I'm struggling with time, and I know it's crazy because we're locked in. <laughs> we're on lockdown. You can't really do anything. But um, yeah, I seem to be busier than ever with different things, and of course, there's more of us and that and. I think the um, fry by my elder hasn't been that great, but you know what? I, I just think it's because I'm missing family and that. Now, if I put that there, I can't have that there because they're too samey. Um, oh, now this is really hard to tear. It's because it's got a funny coating. You're going to have to bite it. Right, that's it. I'll, I'll tear off the bit a bit. Right. I could have that like that and then that will cover that bit there so I want a little bit of something under there maybe that yeah. no um, let's see yeah this is quite nice and so yeah, I've got a few bits I really need to sit down and do, but um, I keep being distracted, I'm not going to lie, I am doing things like playing Play-Doh with Olivia <laughs> and stuff, I'm just enjoying being a kid, um, playing about, with, she's being a doctor a lot at the moment, she's not even free, but she likes being Dr Olivia and I lay down on the sofa. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, she treats me. I'm her patient. And so, yeah, we I lay on the sofa. And today, to, she said, have you got a hot head? I said, yeah. And then she said, okay, lay down. So I lay down. And then the next thing was something really cool was on my forehead. It was lovely. And when I opened my eyes, it was Play-Doh. <laughs> I had a big slab of it on my head, but um, it really made me laugh. But yeah, it was really nice and cool. I didn't want to, t t uh, to take it off, to be honest. It was, I get hot quite a lot with my menopause. Um, I'm not ashamed to say <laughs> that's what's going on in my life. And yeah, oh gosh, I get ever so hot. And so yeah, a bit of Play-Doh on your head. It's lovely and cool. <laughs> it really was. I didn't want the game to end. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's not all play done on the edge. There is some work being done here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not laying there with play done on the head every day. But um yeah, it that was what we did today. Well not the only thing. But yeah, that made me laugh. And it was really nice. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I know if I'm having a not flush, I will definitely be looking for the Play-Doh. Definitely. It's so cool on your head. It's like a cold compress. It's really nice. <laughs> and I never thought I'd hear myself say that. So, um, <laughs> yeah, never say never. Because, um... <laughs> Sometimes we come out with things that you think, well, I never thought that would be something I'd do in my life, but <laughs> there you go. Right. Oh, now, see, if you turn from the other way, you do, it's better, because then you don't get as much of the white paper in between. I really would like to order some of that um, paper that, what's her name, over at um, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Over what, um, she made some paper that when you tear it, it's um, got another colour inside. 
and yeah it looked well cool I think they should do that with all scrapbook papers it's like put a colour inside instead of it being white because if you she's been able to do it over there then everyone must be able to do it mustn't they it's a thing we definitely know it's a thing because I've seen it right um, I was just trying to work out where the top was I don't want as much as that but that bit would be nice yes yeah, so um what else have I been doing other than laying about with play-doh on the head um <laughs> Oh, I finished off, there was another journal I was working on, and I finished that, I think I've said this, didn't I? So I'm going to do a try and tell of that, and I've done another bag to match it, the bag is wicked. Um, our um, government announced today that we're in another three weeks, we're starting another three weeks of lockdown as of today. Um... And what's it called? And then they're going to review it again. So they're not even saying, oh, we're, going to, we're starting three weeks and then you can come out. They're saying, we're starting three weeks and then we'll review it. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. But if it saves lives and if, if it really is, doing us all good then what can you say you've got to do it in you so yeah that's what they they announced um earlier this evening um so yeah just got, got to wait and see it's dreadful it does mean that my two grandchildren that was born on the same day last year levi and lola so both my daughters gave birth within an hour and a half of one another for those of you that haven't been with me since then um, yeah it was one of the best days of my life um, but yeah their birthday falls in the lockdown period which is horrible I never envisaged that that would be how we spent their birthdays I imagined doing a party in my garden and having all like other family round with their kids and that because that's what I do and that's what I love but um that ain't what's going to happen unfortunately but yeah I've been lucky enough to be at the birth of all five of my grandchildren and I've touched them just a little stroke across their forehead as they've come out every one of them and that is such a privilege I um, it's, it's one of those things that I will never ever stop being grateful for because yeah such an honour that there I was and able to touch them all and be there to help my daughters get their kids into the world and yeah it's an amazing thing and last year, when my youngest daughter went into labour, I was staying up Jamie's and um, I got a phone call of them saying that my eldest daughter had been timing the youngest one's contractions. Um, I better come home because... Or, no, it won't. It was meet her at the hospital because... Um, my eldest had been timing the contractions and then one of my sons decided to go with my daughter to the hospital and my other daughter had all the kids. So I said, right, I'll meet you at the hospital. Jamie drove me there and that. And then, like, they said, oh, no, nothing's happening. You can go home. We went home, had a bit of a rest for a while and that. And I had a, by then it was morning, I had her walking up and down as you do, saying, oh, it'll speed it along. And then my other daughter had to go home because it was supposed to be school the next day. So we, I said, come on, we'll walk her to the bus stop. It'll help with your labour. So we saw her onto the bus got back to my house and it did it really quickened it up so then we went to hospital and just as we was getting all booked in and they was putting us in a room 
I got a call from my eldest and I was like, oh, we're all in now. It did speed it up, not to worry. She went, Mum, I'm on my way there as well. She said, when I got to my front door, my water's broke. <laughs> and so we think it was because she was, um, no, I, oh, I did use it. I was thinking, I've tore that. I ain't used it. I have down there. But yeah, we think that maybe timing her sister's contractions and that sort of stirred something within her because when we did we used to live in the same house you synchronize don't you <laughs> i'm not going to go into details you know what i mean you and um, we all yeah was like that and then yeah she timed her little sister her contractions and then yeah got her uh, waters broke just as she got home and so, yeah, she rang me. She said, I'm just waiting for my mother-in-law to turn up to look, watch the kids. She said, and I'll be there. And so they was both in the same hospital, but one was where on one side and one was on the other side of, of the ward. And then as it progressed, the room opposite my eldest came available. And they said to my youngest daughter, do you want to move round to there? And so, yeah, we went round there, and I could just run, like, a couple of feet. Well, wobble. <laughs> I don't run nowhere. <laughs> but, yeah, it was only a couple of feet from one drawer to the other, and they gave birth within an hour and a half of one another. So, yeah, a lovely, lovely thing. And it probably was one of the best nights of my life ever, because um, I just couldn't believe it. It was so magical. And yeah, we've got pictures of them both in their hospital gown. Well, I, I've done it all in my journal, didn't I? Those of you that have been here with me for a long time saw me doing it, sticking it all in the journal, the picture of them both in the ward and that. Oh, it was amazing. But yeah, they're going to be one. And one of them's here. But yeah, the other one ain't. And we thought that their birthdays being on the same day, they'll spend every birthday together. Because we always spend birthdays together. And yet, we're not going to. And I'm not even sure if we'll be out of lockdown by the time it's my oldest girl's birthday. But mm, I don't want to dwell on it because it upsets me. <laughs> I get emotional. I can't help it. But um, you make a way, don't you? We FaceTime and that. And... I print off schoolwork for Lily and I pop it in the post. I've just finished printing off um, a project, um, some pictures for her to go in her glue book. Of um, my daughter done a project with her when it was International Women's Day. Um, she had to write a paragraph about fifteen different inspirational women of the United Kingdom. And so she did all that, researched it all, found 15 different people that she wanted to write about. Um, but yeah, they ain't got printer, so um, I was doing that earlier, printing out all pictures so I can pop them in the post to go in her little glue book. But um, yeah, it's, it's just odd not seeing them and oh i've got this thing on my lap because it's so heavy or full up rather a million things have just fell out right we need a little bit to go oh, down here i think this because that's too many pinky reds up there right so we have that there Oh, and I've got to take this off and run that because I'm knee deep now in blinking scraps. <laughs> Sorry. Right, so I ended up knee deep in scraps and that bit that I wanted to, that I was bending down for, now I can't find it. Oh, I'll have to rip off something else. I do apologise. These will probably do. Right.
Right, so that bit can go there. Like that. Okay. Um maybe there like that and oh if I go up a bit like that. Yeah, then I'll only need a bit there. Okay, so I'm get rid of that bit. And then I'm just gonna, I'm not sure whether to find the blingy bits first. I think it'd probably be easier to cut it and then stick blingy bits on, won't it? It would be wicked to put all blingy bits here and there, but I have got to cut it out. And I think it just might make it difficult for me. But that was my original plan. Right, no, there, that's it. I just need a tiny bit of this. I don't have any odd shapes, so. No. Cut that wrong. Or tore that wrong. Right. Let's see. Maybe a bit thinner. Oh. oh, and I had it and I tore a bit off too much, didn't I? Well, it don't matter. I can find another little tiny bit to go in between because it will break up the colour. Something bright to go in between these two there to break them up a bit. So, let's get that down. Like that. Rummaging. <laughs> You're rummaging. Oh! That. I love this. This was from a box of 200ml of Versace Yellow Diamonds. It smells gorgeous. Jamie bought it for me. And the box was just fabulous. And I was like, there is no way. <laughs> I am throwing that in the bin. Because I really loved it. And that's the last little bit I've got left. That little box. Just the lid, I think it is, the top bit. I used all the rest. I made tags out of it. I did some um, another collage once with it. Oh, and I've just to put all that on. And I ain't put no ink on. Let's just quickly for the glue dry. There. And I can quickly bump, 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 get another little bit under here because it's quite thick, this last piece. So it needs, oh, it needs a bit of ink there. Okay. Oh, and I thought the lid was there. It's probably in the pile of a million one pieces of what's it called scrapbook paper that I'm sitting here drowning in but that's a nice collage now and I've backed it on some nice paper so all I need to do now is just cut out some tags so I don't want nothing too massive And I don't want them all the same size. Um, so, that didn't even go all the way through. Right. Okay, let's do it again. Ah, I might have to flip it over, it's so thick. Oh, just cut it with scissors like a normal woman. Oh, it just fell apart anyway. So, I have to cut that. No. We'll have a long, tall tag. And then that one. 
that needs to be much more glue up to there, it's not stuck at all. And so, I want the flap. The skinny one, the fat one. Quite a lot of tags now and German cars that I can now bling up. So let's just get rid of the waste paper. So I've made myself a new rule that I am not going to use one piece of new scrapbook paper from a pad, a paper pad, until I can take the lid off of my scraps box. And it all don't fall out because <laughs> at the minute it has got ridiculous and so what are the options the options are buy another scrap box which no i one i've not got the room two i ain't really got the money and three they're decent size bits and bobs there's some great big bits that i've only had a tiny bit off of and so yeah there's no way I'm doing that. I did think about it and then I thought, no, you need to have some discipline, woman. So I've given myself a roll and I'm going to try and stick to it. So I'm just cutting a bit of this off and I'm going to smush just around and down maybe. Or maybe just across the top. Yeah, we'll smush the top. I like what's going on better down there, so we just do the top bit. And start smushing. <laughs> right, press down. No, that bit. I need another little bit of glue because this great big walloping bit don't want to stick down. It will. Right. Let me think off. Okay, and then just flop it over and cut off the bits that I don't want. I don't want no straight edges, so I'm going to round that bit. And yeah, I quite like that. Although that bit now, I've got the top bit to stick down. The bottom bit looks a bit too puffy. No, I'll just get that there because I like that big sequin. It's smushing so it's not straight on. Oh, it keeps sticking more to my fingers than to the paper. It will. I just need to. That's it. Right, so one done. We want to get a couple of tags done, so most of the work's done for us. We'll just, I don't like that bit. I might, I might just snip a bit off the top of there. And then I'll lose that bit in my corner, that's it. And the other way. Give it a quick ink around. And I think this one I'm just gonna punch a hole in because there's quite a lot of nice bits and bobs going on that I don't want to cover up. the eyelid in oh. and yeah I'm just I'm um, gonna try as well and do the same with my fabric scraps because 
that's getting out found as well. I've got a little trunk <laughs> that's um, full to the brim. And then I've got a couple of baskets and a little suitcase as well. Um, and that's just scraps. That's not even big bits of fabric. Oh, I've lost one of the lights. Oh, oh now it's gone off. That's it. Sorry about that. Right, so that's another one done. Um, I really liked this, didn't I? But I need to back it. So I'll leave that until later. Um, so this one is very sturdy, the card. So it'll be good for one of the um, deep pockets if it'll fit. Like the one, the ones at the back. Because it needs to be something sturdy. It's not going to bend. Let's see. It might be too wide. Oh no, I don't think so. Yeah, that's perfect. It'll fit in there like that. So, I'll just pop this out of the way. Um, try and get getting the big ones done because I've already cut out loads of little ones and sh little shapes and whatnot, so we're good to go with things like that. Right, just see what I've got here to hand. Not long enough. Mm, no. Oh, I do apologise. Right, this bit's long enough. Come on. Oh. And so, yeah, this should be all finished this evening. Or we'll work, you'll be watching it in the morning. So, in a bit, it'll be finished. Um, and yeah, then that's another job done. So, I'll be pleased once it's all nice and full and... Full of colour, that's what I want. Right, and I'm just going to go down these white edges that I forgot to do. Oh, and that can go over there. See, this feels like it needs something over it because some of these thicker bits they don't seem to be. You know, like laminated or something. I haven't got laminated, so that wouldn't happen. But maybe tracing paper or something like that. So I'm going to leave that one for now. And then... Maybe this one. Oh! And just take off what size? About that size, I think. going there. Yeah, so I've got loads and loads of cards to make. I've got in the coming um, couple of weeks, I've got quite a few birthdays. And yeah, so I've got two um, one year old ones and I've had an idea for them I mean I might do that on camera because um, yeah I've had a little idea and I think it would be quite cool and then I've got some other children birthdays I think one's might be three or four and one's five um, so yeah I've got a few littlies and then some older ones but um, including my own daughter hopefully I'll be seeing her by then and we won't still be separated because that's at the end of May. But beginning of May is still locked down. And then they're just going to make a decision, I think, on the 7th. 
um, by then the baby's birthdays are gone. But yeah, we'll get round it. We'll have a lovely big party afterwards. And I'll invite my cousins and that and their grandkids and kids and everybody. Yeah, and we'll have a really lovely, lovely time after this is all finished and over with. So that's something lovely to look forward to and to kind of plan and that, you know, little ideas of what we can do to make it really special. So, yeah, that would be nice. Right, so with this one, hmm, that's a bit scraggly. I was going to do some smushing, but um, I really don't like that. Let's have a look what I've got here. Hmm, that's a lovely bit of fabric. So pretty. I know that's covered quite a bit of it, but I like that. It'd be a nice little journaling card. Uh. Oh. Mm. oh, stop it. That's, yeah, that's a nice little journaling card. And let me just, the little bit of the trim up here has decided to go walk about. So we'll just stick that back in place. That's it. I like that. Right, so finally, I think for the last couple of ones, because I'm not going to clearly fill every pocket online, so I'm going to take a couple of these shapes I've cut out and the circle ones and just stick them together at the very end so that they will fit on a page like that with a little charm to hang off or they can stick on like that like that whatever way that the person wants them to stick on they can and um yeah i think they're really cool sometimes do it with little tags as well which i might um, put maybe one or two of them in the pockets and yeah we'll just do the end give it a little ink round And then we're good to go to set, punch a hole, set an eyelet, make sure I'm doing it at the right end that I've glued. <laughs> but, oh, for some reason, why isn't that moving much? Uh, okay, let's go again. That's better. The um, screw at the bottom was loose. Okay, so we we'll grab an eyelet, and then I'll do the same with that um, the round um, scallop circles that I've cut out, and then we can place a charm. So I think what well, I've got on the other side just flowers, right? So get the shape lined up, and I think we'll glue this bit over here so that the faces. I haven't got um, an eyelet going right through their edge. That won't look good, will it? <laughs> so, let's get going. Right. Uh, I'll just quickly ink. Oh, hang on. I've dropped. No, I haven't. It is. Right. Ink around the edge there. Right. Go around 
this again a little bit. And right, we'll set the eyelid. Where have, I, where have I put the glue? Up here. Yeah. So about there. And then that will just sit with that bit coming off the page. And a nice little charm that can go the bottom towards the top, coming off of a corner. I really do like those. So we'll just grab a couple of little charms. Sorry for all the rattling. Um, I've got a couple of little dangly bits that I've already made up. We'll go with them. Um, just grabbing the tools and the eyelets and then we're good to go. Right. Oh. Okay. Oh. So Oh, get on. Right. Right, so that's one. And I really do love how they look on the page. Um, and as well with the little tags, when I do it with the little tags and it's just peeking off the page a bit, I really like how that looks as well. Right. Oh, <laughs> what donut? I've put it on the jump ring and then closed the jump ring without connecting that onto the tag thing. Right. Okay, so we'll just close that again. And they are done. And then I wanted a bit like that. I think around just two corners. Right, and then I've got a bit of sari silk here, and I'm just going to smush that down that edge. Love these collage tags and journaling cards. I think they've come out really nice. Um, right, let's get the end right up so I know how much mushing I've got to do because it's not overly long. Right. And then just a tiny little bit off of that end. And yep, I like that. I might have a little word or something on there. Um let's get a bit of ink on here. Just gently. Right. 
Mmm, that L looks like it's smudged now. I'm going to do it with another, like, belief and very gently just tap over the top without pulling. Because for some reason on this paper, it will smudge. I don't know why. Every other paper I ever use, once it's printed and done, it's done. But this paper that I've bought, it seems not to not to stay where it's supposed to. Right. And it's not different ink, it's the same printer ink. Right, and we'll have that there. Okay, so I'm going to put these and all my other little bits and pieces into the... Um, file folder folio and be right back right so here I am back with the full folio and so we've got that nice tag that we just made or journaling card that we just made in the front with a tarot card I'm not going to pull every single thing out because it just make the video too long um, in here we've got the one that we made on the colour challenge when we was doing aqua and we've got a couple of like tarot cards all little tags and bits and bobs tickets and that in there um, we've got that what we did on camera with the colour challenge we've got a tarot card in there journaling card a couple of other cards in here we've got that that we just done we've got these tags the one that we made on the colour challenge um, that one that we did just now so all of that is full as well they've got that one we just made the big tag another one that we just done and of course the little notebook itself so thank you for joining me um, I hope you liked doing it start to finish the whole project that we did everything on camera pretty much other than just popping in bits that I've die cut you know we other than that and a few tarot cards we did everything else on camera I really enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed it too and I will be back with something else very very soon love you loads stay safe stay well stay wonderful and I'll see you soon bye